In this video, I want us to do weekly analysis and uh, we'll, focus in, we'll be focusing on three pairs. I'll tell you my thoughts on GBPUSD, EURUSD, and AUDUSD. So you need to watch until the end, at least to get uh, an idea of what the market will do. Note kindly, kindly note that the last week of the month, it's the very tricky week to try to trade. Why? Because the monthly time frame is dependent on that week. For instance, this is GBPUSD. I want you to screenshot this big candle. For me, I believe this is an institutional candle. Like whoever was pushing the market to buy was the bank and the market makers. Why? Because this market is not um, just floating, floating, no support, touched nothing, and the market can buy for four weeks. Now, this is the last week for GBPUSD monthly candle to close. I want you to pay attention. The candle is very full, very together, like it's a momentum candle. So I want you to note on this candle and then on Friday, because the candle is closing on Thursday at 1 a.m. I want you to come back on Friday. I want you to come back on Friday. So once you come back on Friday, I want you to check this candle. You check this candle and you'll tell me if the price will be at 26.20. So I want you to come back on Friday. Tell me if the price will be still at 26.20. The reason why I'm telling you is that the last week market mm -hmm. can move crazy with so many pips. The market can even, it can turn back with even like 300, 400 pips and it can even close red. And that's what I've seen with many candles uh, when they are closing in the month. So that's what I'm saying. The, the last week of the monthly candle to close is very, very tricky to trade it. Why? Because majority now are convinced that GBPSD is a buy. Because of course, if you open monthly time frame, you'll see this huge candle. If you open daily, it's huge candle. Like everywhere you open, the market is buying. So for you, you will think, oh, this market is on a buy. But if you have not traded GBPUSD yet, I would highly suggest wait for the monthly candle to close. For me, that's what I can tell you. But for those who are in already, I'll tell you how we are managing that entry because you have been taking 100 pips on a drawdown. So according to the monthly time frame, the market broke a resist a support area. Like on the monthly time frame, we had a support break. Can you see? There's a support break here. So the market broke the support, the first month and the second month. And what is making this market to go down are to go up, it's not like it touched our zone. The market never touched our zone. And that's why I feel like it is an institutional kind of a move because this could be a very good double bottom. And if it had touched, I would not even think of selling. But you see, the market never touched. So the question is, who is being tricked here? Are we the one we are being tricked or are the market makers doing this so that you cannot enter on this big move? So for me, I believe when I'm coming to analyze, I want to understand why, why is the market behaving the way it's behaving? For instance, if this market is just buying, there's no support, there's nothing, it's not a pattern. Why is this market bought? Uh, how many pips it has bought? 460, let's say 460 pips. But as we entered at 2,500, so our trade is at 2,500. Let me show you where we entered our trade. We entered around here. So there are so many people who entered when the market was below here. There were so many people who are saying it will sell. But for us, we just said it will sell last week and the market is keeping going on. That's what I'm saying. This week, we'll know the true character of this trade. For me, I believe they are doing all this so that by the time they are dropping the market, everyone will have given up on the sale. For me, that's what I'm believing. So according to monthly, the market is a sell. But this big candle, if now the market closes like this, if the market closes like this, we don't know what can happen. The market can continue buying. So I, I wouldn't say it is a buy until 
the monthly candle closes. So we have one week. In fact, it's four days. We have today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So guys, I will do I, I will do um I'll do analysis on GBPSD on Friday when the candle has closed. So that's why I will be able to know what my idea on GBPSD is all about. So let's go to weekly again. So when I, I when I go to the weekly time frame, when I go to the weekly time frame, there's this double top that has been there. Uh, there's this double top, very clear double top. And this double top happened not to be on the, on the monthly, meaning it's a very powerful double top. And for me, how I believe if a pattern has OPT, if we have OPT one pattern on one time frame, they make sure they go to the half. My question is, why are they delaying to get to the half of this double top? That's my question. Why are they delaying to get to the half of this double top? So the half of this double top is way down, is 1.1664. That is so many pips. If it decides from where it is to just drop to the half, let me tell you, that's 944 pips. So for me, I still believe that this market has a chance to still go to our half. Why, do, why am I saying that? It's because where the market reached, it never activated anything. Like on the weekly time frame, nothing is making this market to go up. There is nothing here. So the market just stopped from the weekly time frame. There's nothing that is making this market to go up. So for me, I still believe on a sell, but, and I'm saying, but we have to be very careful. This is a sell that comes in and people just, they don't know what has happened. So we have to be very, very careful. But for me, I'm seeing the market even dropping to 1.164. And those are so many pips, so many pips. And I believe if they are going to take many pips, they want to keep trapping buyers. So I don't want you to be trapped by this buy. In fact, if you're not comfortable selling, don't enter buy. For me, I feel this buy is a trapping zone. And that's why I told people don't buy. It's, it's better to sell, but don't buy GBPUSD. For me, I, I still feel that buyers are being trapped to get into a trade where, and you can see how the market struggled to come up. So according to weekly time frame, uh, we have a, we have a double top and we have this half and the market has never gone to half. So I'm using FXM. If you notice on FXM where the market is, you can't see anything. So I'm just cautioning those people who are using FXM broker. If you go to Paperstone, guys, I told you I'll be using Paperstone to compare notes. If I use Paperstone, I'll still see the same double top. The same double top is there. And then I'll see the same neckline. And then I will measure half. So for, I don't know why I still believe that this market has a way, way, a long way to go downside. Um, yeah, so this is our half, 1.16. So the market is coming to 1.16. But you can see where the market has stopped we have this green candle that is not on the FXM. And this is how the broker starts to mess up as up. We have a double top there, but according to FXM, we don't have this red candle is a, uh, it's, this is a red candle on FXM, which is a green candle on paper stone. So we might say, now the, there's confusion here. Why? Because my strategy really uses a zone. So, According to Paperstone, the double top is on the, the double top is on the weekly. Can you see? The double top is on the weekly. So this double top, um, already it has been activated. It has a chance if they if it if it works, it will go down. If it does not, so the market still has a chance to go to 1.2387. So from where the market is, if that double top works it will go 231 pips from where it is. If they will use that double top, like if this candle can change and becomes a red candle and just drop, 
that double top is what will be used. But according to GBPUSD on the FXM, we don't have a double top on the weekly. We only have it on the higher zone. So if the market keep go going up, they can go to 27, 25, and that is bad news for us who are selling bad news for us. So the market can keep on going to activate. But what has happened on the daily, FXM has already activated a new pattern. For those who don't, who are not aware, we got an activation of a double top here. We entered sell because of WBB and the market rejected, like <laughs> it rejected that WBB. And I'll tell you why. So the WBB was rejected and the market has now activated a double top. So according to according to GBP USD on FXM, we still have OPT because this double top is not on the on the weekly. But you see, other brokers they have the double top on the weekly, and that's what is confusing me. That's why I'm saying I'm not a hundred percent sure. If we still get this end, second entry, it will it will be it will be as accurate as the way I was having it. So from here I had one pattern on one time frame, and this is double top. I started here, it didn't work. Here is still one pattern on one time frame. But when you go to uh paper paper stone, this double top is still available. The double top on on the daily is still available on the weekly. So there's confusion there with the brokers. So I don't know which broker you're using. Comment down below. Let me know which broker you're using. Are you using FXM or Paperstone? Because according to Paperstone, the, the, the double top is both time frame. It is on the weekly and it's on the daily. So the entry will get it on the daily. Confirmation will be on the daily. But when we check on the FXM, there's no double top. There's no double top. So the double top is on the daily only. That's the confusion that I don't like these days with the brokers. They are confusing candles, printing candles that are not there. Like there's so much confusion on that. So when we entered our cell around here on the four hour, on the four hour, we had this double bottom. So the market had, we had on four hour, we had this double bottom when we got activation. So yes, we had a sell, but four hours still had a double bottom that was not on the, on the daily. For me, what I believed, I think I used a lot of ignorance. For me, I thought the market will give me a cup and handle. Even if you go and check that analysis, I'm saying these are very good cup and handle, but the market decided to buy and use it. And there's nothing you can do. So for me, I felt, that and that's why I was saying we take our profit around 2300. For me, I felt that that double bottom is there to be used as a cup and handle. But what they did, they made sure that double bottom has worked. So it's not like the strategy didn't work, it's just the observation and our observation failed. That's what I can say. And you have to agree, you have to admit when you are wrong. We just, for me, I bypassed that double top. I saw it double bottom. But for me, I was so biased and I knew this double bottom, it is being used as a, as a cup and handle. But we can see what has happened. The double bottom has been used as a, has been used as a way to <laughs> remove everyone who was thinking to sell. So next time, if, if daily gives you a double top with WBB, next time, and I'm saying next time because I know you'll keep trading. Next time, if you get a double, a double bottom, a double top on the daily, and then you find a double, a double bottom on four hour. I believe this four hour should guide you how you should trade. So for me, what I believe is that this market will first will eventually come to the half of this double bottom. They will still come back to this half. So for me, what I believe the market will still come down to twenty five zero eight. So the market will still come down to 2508. That's how double bottoms do. If they if they break neckline, they will still come back to this area. So if we are exiting, if this market happens to come down to 2500, I want you guys to exit GBPSD as we wait for monthly candle close. So why are we exiting? We are exiting. If this market retraces back, 
back to 2,500, just exit that trade until we wait, because there's so many things. Some brokers have a double top on the weekly only, others on daily only. There's so much confusion. And for me, the only way I can analyze this trade effectively is I see how the monthly candle will close. So if you're watching this video and you have a GBPUSD trade, I don't want you to come on my inbox, on my WhatsApp to ask me what you should do. I'm just telling you, if this market comes down, comes down to this area, back to this area, just exit the trade because it will. I'm telling you, it will. There's so much chance of this market to come back to this area to create a double bottom. That's how the market moves. It will come down. They cannot just go up. So have an, a mind of exit. So on, um, on, on this trade, we are having a mind of exit on GBPUSD. And I'm telling you, the reason why the double top didn't work after WBB is because of this double bottom. So do not, do not say that the strategy is not working. Let's blame on our laziness for not seeing this double bottom and the magnitude. I saw it. In fact, I saw it. And I, my trades I had put at 25.10. Most of my sell orders I had put at 25.10. And I thought it will not even break the 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 neckline. So I had trades on 25.10 and 25.60. For me, I believe it will not go further because this trade had not, it didn't have RBS. So I, I used my strategies to show me if this market is stronger. And I I would have said, I will, I will enter sell if this double bottom is violated. How do you know a double bottom is violated if a red candle would have come and broke there? So next time, that's how I'll be trading any double bottom that is like an obstacle. For me, I saw it's a pure obstacle. So I will always be trading. If I have a double bottom on four hour, I will wait until they violate it or I first come and start placing my trades at the, the completion. Yeah, so that's how you trade it. And that is done. Let's go to Euro USD because I don't want to keep on talking on these trades, they, they are not good to keep on talking. So Euro USD, let's do analysis on Euro USD. So I've said on GBPUSD, if it goes back to 2,500, exit that trade. I said, if it goes there, exit that trade. Euro USD, if this Euro USD closes like this, what do you think guys? We have a double bottom that will be activated on Friday. And if the candle, if the market closes like that, just exit your sell trade. So this, I'm just showing you how to exit your the sell trade on your USD. If on Friday you open your chart and the monthly candle has closed above above this above 0 0.892, just exit that trade. Why are we exiting? Because this market will be coming to the neckline. We don't want to hold a sell. I'm just giving you exit points. So if the market, if the market breaks there, let's all of us we cancel that trade. That is on the monthly. But let but what is happening on Euro USD on the other time frame? So when you go to the weekly time frame, Euro USD has um this is paper stone. There is no double top. You can see double top. And I want to compare paper stone with FXM because I have found the market misbehaving. And you might find one is saying this one, the other one is saying this one. So we have paper stone and XM. So where is XM? I have FXM. So both of them do not have a, a, a resistance. Can you see, guys? At least both of them. Let's let's check Oanda, Euro USD Oanda. For me, I feel we need to be very careful, more so when you're doing conclusion on some pairs. Why? We need, by the time you're doing conclusion on the weekly, there's no, you have checked Oanda, FXM, and Paperstone. So this is Oanda. Where the market is, there's no resistance. This is where the market has stopped, there's no resistance. And I think Euro USD will be powerful as to trade it because there's no confusion. GBP USD has a lot of confusion. So Paperstone and FXM, all of them they do not have. I have said if the market closes below above 0 0.892, 9892, we exit. We exit, guys. 
So when you come to the daily time frame, there's a double top. And this is what made us to enter this trade. There's a double top here. And the best thing, this double top, it's not where? It's not on the weekly. And we have, we have made sure with all other brokers. We have made sure with all other brokers. So we, we, we analyze it like that. So Euro USD, I, I noted, um, it had the same double bottom on four hour, but it didn't, it didn't react like the way GBPUSD reacted. And that's how some pairs are different. Some pairs will react, others will not react because market will not be the same. So we got the WBB. In fact, we got here, the WBB here, the market broke. So our entry was around this place. Immediately the market broke that WBB. So when you come to four hour, you find we had this double bottom. So this double bottom is what the market is, is um, the market is struggling because there's already a pattern there. But you can compare this pattern, the market didn't, uh, this double bottom, the you can see it has not even broken neckline. The market has not broken neckline, but this GBPUSD, the double bottom, broke neckline, already it has moved so many people. So markets are not this. Like markets, they are not, they won't be the same. So this double bottom came, broke neckline and almost finishing. But for the Euro USD, it's still on the same zone, thinking what should we do, what should we do? So for me, I believe the, the, the double bottom, the double top is very powerful on Euro USD. So if you can hold it um, up to Thursday, Hold that trade up to Thursday so that we can see what, how the candle, the monthly candle will close. And like I've said, if the monthly candle closes, breaking the half, just exit that trade. You will not even think about it, just exit that trade. So Euro USD, just hold it. It's not like you've been taken on a drawdown of how many pips. So from our entry, it's around 60 pips. But for GBPUSD, it's around 120 pips. GBPUSD, hey, GBPUSD from 25, 2500 to 2620, 123 pips. So GBPUSD has really taken us on a drawdown. But I will, we are looking for exit, guys. We are, we are really looking for exit. And once I get my exit, I'll do a video and tell you I have exited. So we are still observing how the market will play out. And last but not least, let's analyze our DUSD. Let's analyze our DUSD. So when you come to the monthly time frame of our DUSD, again, it has a what? It has a double bottom. So this double bottom is that candle closes with that bullish engulf. We are exiting our DUSD. I don't want us to sell and the market is telling us to buy. So again, our DUSD and Euro USD. We exiting, if this market, there's a way I will know we have to exit on that side. So this market is headed to half. For me, I don't know why I feel like they want to touch half. Half is 6.45 and it is at 65.94. So to half, it's around how many pips? 47 pips. So in case the market closes like that, we will exit our, we will exit our double, our double top. Why? Because we don't want the market to continue going up by when we are selling. That is one, one example. GBP, LDSD has broken a very major resistance. And let me tell you, once the resistance breaks, the market will always react. So I don't know what kind of a reaction this candle will take, will give us. And by the time they are reacting, if you go to daily, they have activated a pattern that is not on any other time frame. So we have a pattern already activated. We have a pattern already activated, Euro USD, and we got an evening star. So we don't know why the market is still keeping going up. So if you check this double bottom, the double top, the double top hold our USD up to Thursday. Friday, look for exit, and I'll do a video if you're looking for exit or there's no need for exit because the monthly candle will have closed. So just have a little patience. One week, can you hold this for one week only? 
just hold it and because there's no alarming according to the pattern the w uh, the opt it's only on one time frame so we can hold it up to our half and this market can it can drop it's not a wonder this market can still drop 150 feet so i just want you to hold out dsd if you enter a trade you enter a trade with two agenda the first one of course is to make money but the the highest above all is to learn learn take data learn repeat again take data learn take data learn why because exactly there's no way again we'll get a double bottom on four hour and we assume it for me i think i have i have i have, I have applied a lot of ignorance there but i think uh, with what i know now i will not apply a lot of ignorance i will take everything to consideration i want us to check out dsd on both oanda and paper stone i don't want that double top to be available on the weekly so let's take check on the weekly so you can see on the weekly we do not have this is oanda on the weekly we do not have any pattern you can see but on the daily we have. So let's be checking, be checking our, our pairs before we even conclude. We check like we cross check on three brokers because again, you don't want to, to have high hopes. Oh, this is a sale. I'm just giving you, just hold this market for four days. On Thursday, on Thursday at 1 a.m., not Thursday, on Friday at 1 a.m. That's when we are making the decision of closing the trades and starting again. Because at the end of the day, there's losing, making money, learning. And that's the pattern of Forex. So many people don't want to make mistakes. Let me tell you, making mistakes, you learn a lot. I'm not afraid to even show you my own mistakes. Why? Because I'm not where I was yesterday. I'm not where I was in 2020. When I was starting, I'm not where I was 2022. I'm becoming better. And next year, things will be all uh, uh, again be better. So you can see that double top is not on the weekly on RDSD. Let's check on the paper stone. If we check paper stone again, RDSD and EURUSD, I think they are one of the pairs we can hold. We just hold them because they don't have um. They don't have anything. You can see that market broke and we don't have we don't have anything on the daily. So these are pairs that they will give us an entry. I'll be observing them. These are the pairs that will give us an entry. If we, if, if we get a bearish anger, maybe today. So you'll be looking for another new entry because you can't rely on this one. The market, yes, it engulfed, but it kept going up. So we are looking for new entries like a bearish angle or a red candle we put a box. Both of them, we are looking for new entries. Okay, guys, so AudioSD and EURUSD, those one you are not on negative. If you have not entered sell, you can enter one position and observe. <laughs> Just enter. If you are fearing, wait the monthly candle to close. Again, don't say, oh, I don't want to trade because I don't want to lose money. Forex, you have to have a high spirit. And a high spirit comes from when you have agreed you want to learn more than making money. Because if you learn a concept, you'll only duplicate it to other, other trades. So this one, what we are trying to understand with this market, we just want new entry, like a bearish angle. Like today or tomorrow, we get a very good red candle. Like just observe that to get a new entry. So you have no, if you have not entered these two markets, I want you to get new entries. Even GBPUSD, we want new entry here because already it has activated. You can see the market has activated this double, double top. So we want a new entry and a new entry is a bear, another bearish angle, another bearish angle. So we are looking for a new entry guys. And if we get, don't, don't be afraid. We still have time. We still have time to see how the candle on the monthly will close. And there's no way you can fear. You know, if you fear to trade, how will you even make profit? You enter the market with confidence. 
note down the mistakes and I have told you, anytime you will be given, let me just cut this down and you'll see, this is GBPSD, we are back at GBPSD. Anytime you'll be given um, a double top like that, and it has an end at, it's a double top and it has an end guard. And you flip for hour and you find for hour we have a double bottom. For me, I don't know why I thought this double bottom, like, hey, that's a very serious mistake that has costed me a drawdown of 120p. So if you find a double bottom here, the first thing you do, you'll tell yourself, I will enter one trade and I will not risk until they break out. Like I'm not interested if this market will not violate that red candles. That's the first way you can enter that market. If they break that double bottom, I will enter. That is one. Number two, if they create this double top, you can see if they activate this double top and they break my half or they give me, what do we call it? CSB. You know, the market can come here activate this double top, come and make a current support and eventually break it. I will enter there. Then I will be observing how to re-enter the second option where the neckline will be broken like that. The other way you can say, I will put my trades on this area. I'll put my sell on this area. So you have a sell at the half and at the end here because the market can still continue at 26.56. So you have your first sale. So all of us, our first trade will be at 26.05, which will be not, uh, uh, it won't be something to make us worry because that is a very cool area to enter. So next time, those are some of the things that you will learn and you have to apply in the next video. So guys, I hope the weekly analysis are, are clear. I will only come to GBPUSD and EURUSD and AUDUSD on Friday. For me, I am, I have closed my books on them. I will try to do other, other pairs. I'll try to analyze, to backtest. But GBPUSD, EURUSD and AUDUSD, I'm coming. In fact, I'm removing them on my watch list because I don't want to keep checking them. I don't want to keep checking them. And you see, when you keep checking a trade, you will be blinded by your emotions. So let me remove them on my watch list. I will just come back on Friday to see what we are, what we have been up to. I'll just remove them on my watch list. Not on Friday. I'll be checking every day because I want to have new entries on AUDUSD and, and EURUSD. So for me, what I'll do every single day, every day at 1 a.m., I'll be opening my my three pairs and check what I have. So that by the end of every day, I will know, do I exit? Do I keep holding? So this is a decision I'll be keeping every day. So I won't check on those trades right now until tomorrow at 1 a.m. That's when I want to check how did the candle close so that I don't want, I do not want to, 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 to observe the market every minute. So relax and check every day once. Can you do that? Check the market once every day. All the best, guys. Hope you have liked the analysis. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know. Are you holding GBPSD? Are you on a drawdown? How are you experienced? How are you feeling holding negative? Are you on negative on GSD and EURUSD? What is your feeling? Do you feel like we will, we will, will come out with a loss? Or do you think we will... Uh, what do you think? What's your, what's your thoughts? Thank you so much and I love you. Bye-bye. God bless.